CBS News political director and Face the Nation moderator John Dickerson is in Washington. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Has the effort to stop Trump by definition failed? Yeah, yes, it's failed, certainly in, in Michigan and Mississippi. Uh, I, you know, one, one of the things we're looking at is, is, did it increase turnout for him? I'm not necessarily sure it did that, but it did nothing to slow him. Uh, so they're going to have to find something else real quick before those winner-take-all contests next Tuesday. And what might that be? I, I don't know. I mean, they've uh, the, the, certainly Trump over the last two weeks has uh, taken withering fire, uh, and it has not worked. They've gone in I his business pass. The they've gone on whether he's going to destroy the party. Yes. Neither of those two has worked. And remember the bank shot that has to, to work here to slow him. Marco Rubio would have to win in Florida, Kasich in Ohio. Two different wins, two different candidates. Uh, it's it's always been a long shot, and it still looks like one. John, let's talk about the Democratic race and that big upset in Michigan. Although Sanders did little to cut into Clinton's delegate lead, let's talk about what we found out from the exit polls. Sanders won 81 percent of young voters. He won 70 percent of independents, and he won eight out of 10 voters who said honesty was the most important issue. Is that a warning sign for Hillary Clinton as we look at those other Rust Belt states like Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin? Um, it's a it's a, certainly a warning sign. She was supposed to win Michigan and she didn't. I, I think she's still ahead in the delegates and she's still marching along that path. Uh, so unless there is a string of upsets, a string of surprises, uh, she is still headed towards the nomination. Um, so this was a surprise for sure. It shows weakness and anemia in her uh, candidacy that has always been there. The trust numbers are a problem, uh, but it's it's. We've still got to have a lot more upsets by Bernie Sanders to change the direction in the way uh, this campaign's going. How did the pollsters get it so wrong for Bernie Sanders in Michigan? Well, that's one thing. It's, it's, a, it's a big question. They, they misunderstood the electorate there. Either there was a, late, a big late-breaking shift, which would be really interesting. Why did that happen? Uh, you know, there have been big foul-ups like this in the past when uh, Hillary Clinton won in 2008 in New Hampshire. That was a big surprise. So this sometimes happens. Back to Nora's question, the question is, is this an aberration? They messed mm -hmm. up in Michigan. Or does it tell us something about those contests next Tuesday? Mm -hmm. And, John, the Wall Street Journal has an interesting headline today, and it says that angry white males have propelled Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders and sort of raises the question about whether white males will end up being the swing voters. How have they played in this primary electorate? Well, they certainly have fueled Donald Trump's uh, rise. It's the way uh, he was able to win in both the South, the Midwest, and the Northeast. For Bernie Sanders, he has support, but it hasn't swung him to the, to the victories. I mean, it's swung him to some victories, but not to the whole nomination. Mm -hmm. All right, John Dickerson, thank you so much.